CJ Battle, man. Five eyes, my, my jigger. Ha, wow, ha, wow, ha, wow. Already, man. Shout out to Yosef, the real. Shout out my bro, Melvin, man. <laughs> Melvin Trey always dropping that drop. And the drop, drop, chatter, chat, 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 chat. Are we going to talk some quantum? You know, we we still blue marvel and you know i'm just you know taking it from another perspective you know we we talked about the comic character and some of the innuendos hidden within you know that flow over there and the, even in the dc got that the black adam coming out so you know we're gonna get you know more into the comic flow of it all but this is blue marvel and i mean we're talking about the quantum flow talking about you know quantum bubbles you know being able to control the flow of time space and time we're talking about the 100th monkey experiment man <laughs> so this is gonna get kind of interesting man just you know i want to talk easy you know what i'm saying because all this is about the 100th monkey experiment man uh shout out my bro uh my bro SWAT. First, I was like, man, what you trying to do, man? You trying to call black people monkeys, man? <laughs> but nah, I think he was just trying to bring us to the quantum. <laughs> Shout out to SWAT. And, uh, you know, the whole hundredth monkey, man, like, you know, once that idea sparks, it's all about that spark, like, rest in power, Tupac Shakur. I always said, hey, man. I might not, you know, be this and that, but I will be the spark, man. Easy, like, look, all right, so I'm all in. Now, I get it. You could, you could say distraction, and you, you, you got a point. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You could have that point. You know, we can get distracted into Yeezy said it. If we playing Yeezy said it all day, and others would say, uh, MK Ultra, uh, Deep Sigh, you know, whatever, man. Hey, you got a point because that's happening. And why not, you know, use the yay, uh, <laughs> the yay wave to do it, you know what I'm saying? Or this could be same old yay, turn all the way up because he feel like everything's being taken. And, you know, I watched a piece of uh, that interview. Shout out Drake Chaps. Shout out Noriega, man. And a lot of people all Noriega right now. Like, you know, we know that you don't own Revolt. We, we you know, we get that. But you you apologizing and saying these things. And you were sitting right next to the man, you know, the whole time. <laughs> but I can understand, you know, and Noriega's flow. Like, look, I'm just, I just got this platform going. I just got drink chance where I want it to be. I can't be, you know, playing with these people. And a lot of our people are in these situations. It's not just on a Noriega level or a Kanye level, but, you know, just in your neighborhood, you know what I'm saying? Just at your job, you know, we're making these real tough decisions of like, you know, where we draw that line and, you know what I'm saying? Um, just the feeling, the vibration of coming back together, you know, we can now, I know for me personally, you know, it's easier for me to sit and watch stuff that normally I'll just kind of, you know, uh, charge off, you know, I'll be like, nah, man, I'm not getting that. That's all, you know, it'll kind of irritate me, you know, to see, but now I could get dropped 
it's easier for me to get dropped, you know, and dodge my own hijacks. And it should be easy for you by now to dodge your own hijacks. Because Ty Battle told you so. Shout out Aqua Ty Battle. The Battle family going all the way up. CJ Battle, Kyron Big K popping off. Brother Nature, let go. You know what I mean? This vibration of coming together, man, is 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 beyond one person. Uh, the Book of Enoch, you know, certain versions go into this collective consciousness, you know what I'm saying, or this collective Mashiach flow where, you know, it's, it's us. We are the vibe. We we can share this, you know, beautiful, beautiful glory from Hawaii. You know what I'm saying? We can share the happiness that a father wants his children to be in, a mother wants her children to have, you know, you you want your children to be full of Hawa's glory and we can charge up within ourselves and get the drop and get the babies out the bathwater and say, yeah, I, you know, I hear him saying this and I hear him saying that, but he got them now, you know, looking even, you know, it just tunes they, it tunes they frequency up just a little bit because some of them really want to try to figure this out. They can't really hate on Ye like that. Because they see all the hijacks hating on Ye. So it puts the Ye haters in a weird position because you just go and agree with Fox News and CBS <laughs> and TYT. You're just going to agree with these jabronis about Yeezy. You're going to jump on the hijack bandwagon. Look to your left, brother. Look to your right, brother. you surrounded by hijacks. Is that where you want to stand when it comes to this man? And you take away all the stuff he wants to say. I mean, it's supposed to be a free country. It's supposed to be a free world. But they showing you, and he's also exposing, and these situations are exposing, you know, exactly what we've been going through, even on a YouTube level with the censorship. You can't say this, you can't say that, you can't even talk tenderoni, you know what I'm saying, all that stuff. So, you know, all praise to why we're on our own platform. I mean, if you ain't noticed, we have 432 to drop dot com and just look out for us because we about to you know continue to man <laughs> you know make this uh manifestation our place our home not you not the youtube streets not social media our home the home of drop nation dragon child what it do our home you know so just look forward to the upgrades you know what i'm saying and we're gonna continue to upgrade us you know all praise a while that we have a framework, a foundation, you know, built over the last seven years or so. And, uh, you know, but really it's a, it's an ancient love song. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We got we got Lauren Hill popping off, man. Shout out my bro, Zion, man. <laughs> What's that shirt say, man? <laughs> yeah, man. Let go. It may choke eat. <laughs> Let go. Let go. Go. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh man right right <laughs> wow man mhoe man you know all i can say is man mhoe um kanye talking about you know uh, uh 
why he would uh, wear a White Lives Matter shirt, charges up the entire nation. They they want to know. They, they want to know. And then he started talking about Israelites and, and free energy. <laughs> I mean, man. But, yeah, you know, it exposed that on every level exposure is happening. The Valley of Dry Bones is happening. Nagas is coming back in order. The code, you know, truly is with their our heart bone, our soul bone. It's not weird, you know what I'm saying, to keep the code, to be M-H-O-E. Shout out Ma Jigga for these beautiful designs, M-H-O-E, man. And, uh, you know, I'm inspired and I get inspiration, you know, in, in the strangest of places, but... It's not hard to, it's not, it shouldn't be hard to get inspiration from Kanye. You know what I'm saying? Just in terms of a, a beat maker, a producer, someone that can put those type of samples together. I mean, however you get it, you know, his designs and, you know, whatever you, you know, whatever you, you shouldn't have to hate on someone for not being everything you want them to be. Instead of finding those, you know, beautiful gems, man, that can be shared and nourished that someone could pass on because you, you still looking for a perfect person, a perfect Mashiach. <laughs> Managi, you need to find that water and that frequency so that we're not tearing each other down all the time about what we're not. Oh, you're not this enough. You're not that enough. But what am I? What have I done that you can take as inspiration? Because if I've done anything to inspire you, then Managi Hey, it's all for the Ahab. It's all for Baruch. It's all Halal Hua. If your brother, your sister, your neighbor, you know, does anything to inspire you, I mean, that's Baruch. You know what I'm saying? So we start focusing on that. This, the hatred and and, and the the program hate hatred. You know, the program. I gotta hate on my brother. I gotta I gotta stun on my brother. I gotta I gotta put him down so I can shine. You know or or so, so everyone know, you know, the ego wanting to be looked at as a savage, as a demon, as a monster, as a gangster, more than as an ox. Where they do that at? You care more about being a gangster than an ox? You care more about being rich on your own than an ox? Building a wall of protection. So I hear the ox Yeezy <laughs> talking about land, free energy, and then they just take down the interview. I mean, my bro, all this has to do with the hundred monkey, <laughs> the hundred monkey effect we about to get. And it has everything to do with quantum. Right? And it has everything to do with you because you blew Marvel. But yeah, you know, I watched some of this live and he, he just went in. He just went in. He went in on Puff. He went, he went in on everybody. And, uh, yeah, that was like a test, like, or just something for us all. Because with social media, you still going to see it. Like, back in the day, they could take stuff down, and you really, you know, didn't see it. Like, it's gone. But they they going live, right? So they, they dropped this live. Noriega dropped this live. So, of course, Nagas tune in. Of course, they got clips going around. It can't be destroyed. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And they just are really showing they – Showing they tailbone even more, man. You know, when they start hitting us with all this censorships, you know what I'm saying? We already see what it is. But now the world sees that, man, can't nobody get their point across, even if it's yay. Crazy yay, right? But when you recon a good 90% of what the bro's kicking, at least, you know what I'm saying? You're going to get into some deeper recon. The man's talking about running for president. <laughs> Knowing it's a corporation, letting you know I'm running for president of this corporation. So it's it's mind blasting, you know, and it's something that um for the masses, they need this type of joke. You already been surfing away, but for the masses that's still in the deep sleep, that Ruach Tardy Ma, they need the hundredth monkey, not that, you know, our people are monkeys, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but <laughs> according to this experiment, with all these monkeys that they got uh, sweet potatoes, but they, you know, they would throw them out to get the monkeys out the forest. 
and these monkeys would come out the forest onto the beach and they throw these sweet potatoes on the beach and it would be all full of sand and the monkeys was like man you jamming me up like i like this sweet potato but it's filled with sand it's sandy it's a sandy potato and one day um <laughs> A, be a beautiful queen monkey, uh, a female monkey, <laughs> shout out to my aquas, <laughs> went to the ocean, washed off the sweet potato, and was like, yo, we could just wash these off. Taught her mother, and then the whole tribe started popping off. Then they noticed that other tribes of monkeys were doing this on other islands, and they were like, how did they learn this behavior? It was like some critical mass conscious, you know, um, telekinesis transfer of energy through the ether so we can learn from each other which is why i say you know take a step back off of being critical of your your brother your sister your aunt, you know your your mama your daddy your, your, i know all the things you don't like about them i know you, you it's easy to see the stuff you don't like about somebody and what you would do different you know what you would do if you were them you know but think about what they did inspire you to do. And just let that charge up your AI for that nugget so that all those things that nugget isn't, you can help them become. You can help that nugget become that king, that queen. If you really, you know, are for the tribe or you're for yourself, man. Yeezy's just all in, you know what I'm saying? He's for himself. <laughs> But it seems like he's also for tribe, too. He's talking tribe. He's he's directing his conversation, you know, right at the issues, right? Right at the issues. And it's a conversation, you know, we ain't shy about because we've been talking about who the Ibu Ru is, who the Amaru Khans are, you know what I'm saying? We've been talking 1828s and all that, you know. Shout out to Ra uh, Riza Islam on Adam 22. He had to bring out the knowledge of the 1828 Webster Dictionary. I was like, damn, that used to be underground knowledge, man. <laughs> that used to be underground, but still Liddy and Drop City, uh, conscious community, aware community, awareness community. But now they just 1828 Webster Dictionary. I know Ty Battle feels very proud because we've done a lot to endorse the 1828. <laughs> Love to, you know, all the uh, real ones, man, from day one, man, you know, let us find the truth in them, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man, I'm just, look, it's all happening, man. Hey, come kicking in the drop chatter where you can get some of this drop. Yeah, it's crazy, man. Uh, eat mine, right? Yeah, it, man. They saying, you know, might be a naga, man. They just been acting like he wasn't a naga, man. And when I think about Wing Chun, I think about Wong Kong. Oh, man, a bro got a naga popping off, man. <laughs> yeah, man, it might be a noggin, man. Hey, shout out Bruce Lee, man. Hey, you already know it, man. Hey, whatever you're doing, man, you know, get your form of of discipline on, you know, if it's through martial arts, you know, through, you know, just your own, uh, you know, stretching and yoga, you know, whatever you're doing, man. However you're doing to stay, stay fluid, we need you, my noggin. We need you on the front lines, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, as we build for Nagaville, you know what I'm saying? We need Monagas for real. You know what I'm saying? So stay healthy, stay energetic, keep tuning in to uh Conclave Health, Wellness, Fitness, man. You know, always popping off, man. Thursday, seven o'clock Pacific time, four three two to drop radio, followed by living well with brother nature. Man, you know, we got recipes, we got all kind of health, true to life proven you know what i'm saying um exercise attempt, tips a lot of guidance on just not just your uh physical health but your mental health and all kinds of stuff i mean the bro was talking some marvin gay sexual healing man going crazy man so love to brother nature man zon cooking my aqua uh chef candy you already know man you know she's getting real zon with some great recipes Healthy flows just to impress and to feel good. You know what I'm saying? Great recipes to try. So, you know, tune in on the Thursdays. It's, it's, it's truly Liddy in Drop City at 432 The Drop Radio. Download the app 432thedrop.com. So what I'm saying is that this is all frequency. And as we charge our frequency up, it's Valley of Dry Bones coming back to life. You know, you got to resist 
um, you know, feeling sluggish, you know, resist, feeling weak, you know. Don't let your, you know, uh, carnal flow, your your lower flow, your your physical flow, overcome your your etheric flow. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, right there in your pine go, you know, uh, pineal gland, your pine cone, man. So, what they call third eye. Shout out to five eyes, ma. You know, what I mean, you you gotta you gotta let that overpower you, feeling like, oh, I'm too old. I ain't this. I'm not that. You got to get the evil wild beast out of your head bone, out of your mind bone. You know what I'm saying? So control your thoughts. Your thoughts are the evil wild beast. I'm talking about the teachings of Sylvanus, Tok Texas, and the Nag Hammadi. Get the evil wild beast. Control them, man. Those are your thoughts. Everything starts with a thought. Covetness starts with a thought. Look out for the, you know, code series, code keeper series. We're coming in with some false witnesses. Yeah, we're talking false witnesses. We're talking to code. Let's go. <laughs> you know we're ready for this one. I know you're ready for this one. Right now we're talking quantum, man. And this flow, this code, this tower reaching. But now I get this blue, purple, red, white, linen, gold thread is in all of us. We just had to get the hijack out the way to see clear with a dragon flit eye perspective. Now we building for Nagaville, man, for Joy World. A hop to the cons that ain't let up, man, that are getting us so much closer every single day. I'm just always just, you know what I mean, from the heart bone, amazed and appreciative of all my Nagas throughout. All this time we've been raising, man, and we're going to keep it going and, you know, just show Nagas, you know, saying that a tribe can come together and do this and paint this fence, blue, purple, red, white, let it go thread all across our acre, man. And, you know, just start our flow, you know, right there in Utah, man. So the water to the cons, man. Brandon Savella, Dawi, what it do, man. And all the anonymous family, Dylan Davis, Contessa Taylor, Kevin Green, Eric Mays, Josiah Hughes, Eric McWilliams, David A., all my Nuggets, man. All my anonymous Nuggets, man. Um, you know, this feels so good. So we're building a fence. It's what's happening. You know, it's just what's happening. You know what I mean? It's what's happening in the world of the cons. You know what I mean? And, you know, just uh, connecting to you right here. Just keep it connected. Helps our connectivity. We're we just talking quantum. The hundredth monkey experiment, man. Shout out to Kumse Panther. He said, My con, which video is that again where you started off with watching a brother build a wing well, TP in the wood? Hey, man, we started a lot of videos off with Bam Bam. I think you're talking about Bam Bam. Yeah, man, that's like at least a hundred videos. We got to narrow that in, man, because Bam Bam, matter of fact, we, you know, we might have to get some Bam Bam, man, because we are talking quantum, man. <laughs> Shout out Zion Train, maximum respect to the Tri KTC, MH Joey. Hey, love to uh Con Fat as well. Hey, man, much of how loud was Zion Train. Shout out Zion Marley, man, who, you know, I mean, I'm I'm not even gonna give too much up, but yeah. You know, the bro, you know, rocked uh the MH Joey. Well, I think it was the hoodie or the shirt, man, and you know, we didn't ask him to do that. And, you know what I'm saying? He just showed how much he really, um, you know, understands, you know, those type of moments when someone, when everyone's going crazy about T-shirts and White Lives Matter, Black Lives Matter shirts, we say, nah, man, most high over everything, right? <laughs> and, uh, you know, that just felt so good. So, you know, Zion is going to be, you know, uh, rocking steady with the MHOE. And I just look forward to you know, being able to, uh, you know, manifest, man, manifest with five eyes. My, my jigger has always seen clearly that putting the most out of everything, a constant reminder, a constant, you know, show of us keeping the code because we can't come together without the code and the code is the flow and the flow is the frequency is the vibration is most high over everything, man, is the mem sauce yourself. Let go. Man, we out of here, boss. We out of here. Wakey, wakey got the drop. Hey, man, if you haven't heard about the Hegelian dialect pro progress of the so-called 
elites, thesis and antithesis, synthesis, order out of chaos agenda that the elites push. Then look into this here, take it or leave it. Hey, man, hey, much a high man, maker of all a high to the indigenous of the holy land. Oh, my brother, pop, wakey, wakey, popping off. You got to come in here to drop chat to get the drop. Shout out my odd king. Yeah, and then they deleted his Instagram. Everybody, uh, uh, Chase Bank, say, take your billions away. Man, look, man, is it a distraction? Yeah, yeah, of course, you know, but it's not a distraction if you're getting dropped out. You know, and if it's allowing this conversation, you know, people now coming back to us like, hey, I remember you saying some crazy stuff like this. <laughs> so, you know, it's good, you know. Um, it's all energy, man. It's all energy. And it's all about intention. You know what I'm saying? We could take, you know, whatever they kick in and we can put our intention on this crystal, put our intention on that diamond, man, on that sapphire, that jewel, and get these jewels. Yeah. Easy's going in, man. <laughs> so you see it, man. Um, everybody's tuned in. Love, love the king. Confat, confat, what they do? You know, drop so much drop, man. Moshe is KTC, <laughs> MHOE for life, man. Got to be most high over everything. Full life confat's popping off. Shout out to Octemi. Oh, okay, we got some Kalelu's drop. Yeah. The Roman swords, huh? The Romani swords found in Arizona, huh? Every desert has a thousand stories to tell. Sometimes the stories are revealed in petroglyphs pecked into the rocks by ancient Indians in special places. Flint knives and arrowheads tell tales of hunting and warfare, while pottery shards speak of artistry, craftsmanship, old glass Bottles blue with age, rusting Prince Albert tins, discarding. All right, all right, look, man, I get it, man. <laughs> now go uh, dig on the Kalelu's. Uh, you know, we got a whole show that we kicked for seasons and seasons called Kalelu's and the water for your patience. I'm about to be popping off regularly again with my radio flow. All my cons, the Ether Squad been holding me all the way up while I've been in uh, quite a few transitions and, a lot of family dynamic going on that I just had to reboot, recharge, man. So, but the Ether Squad has gotten us into week 11, and I'm just about to pick it back up with my regularly scheduled drop, you know what I'm saying, every day. So, Kalelu's, uh, I think we got that at 9 o'clock, 9 or 10. I got to uh, give you the, the new schedule as well this week, so don't trip. We got, you know, a lot of shaping, a lot of framing. A lot of adjustments, and um, it's beautiful, man. Once we are fully, uh, you know, fully functioning, you're going to see what the fifth wave is really hitting for. So tune in, download the app, tell the homies, man, it's going up. And it's stuff they want to hear, man, because you want to know you got swords with Hebrew on them and dragons in Arizona. And that the only person that can claim these swords is you, the only person, that only Naga that can wield these dragon hebrew swords are not uh people claiming to be you today but they are you because then people claiming to be you today can't wield these swords they don't got no sword wielding stories man <laughs> but you my naga are swan knights so venus to texas genealogy never collect <laughs> never connects this man so wow Hey, that's, that's, that's beautiful. Brother Timmy, man, dropping that drop, man. Hey, class is in session, man. Shout out Aqua Hill, Shabbat Shalom, working on new habits. Enjoy to knock on these sessions. Tuning in Friday, man, Shabbat. You already know, to knock on these sessions, man. Eight o'clock. Then we got Torah only sessions. Everything's back to regular, man. So look out for us. On the Shabbat, just tune in. We got that water flowing. Hey, I'll talk my nagas that enjoy hearing that water of you, though. That's water from our land. And every time it tells a different conversation, we've been listening to this water, and it's still brand new conversations every day. So tune in when you hear that water, man. Just let it flow because it connects us. It's like standing by the water next to each other, even though we are separated sometimes by thousands of miles. But that when you hear that water flow live from 432 to drop, 
oh man, you got that water. And natural by law, take the wheel. Drop Nation got that water. Hey, I all my noggins, you know, keeping us functioning, keeping our lights on so we can take care of everything we need to, you know, keep this flowing every month, man. And hey, hop to the Ether Squad again for everything you do, uh, raising awareness, man, to, you know, what Nagas can do when we tribe up and function and read books together and enjoy music together and talk that talk together and walk that walk together. And we fly. Hey, get your reconstruction packs. Packs are going out. Hey, I'll be Yosef Terrell. Nine Spiral for an amazing tribe up, you know, conglomerate with the cons. And we got the whole thing uh, s- slowed and screwed and slows. Chopped and, you know, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Chopped and screwed, screwed and slow. Uh, love to my bro, Yosef Terrell, Nine Spiral. All the family that participated in this project. I mean, all the producers, all the drop artists, man. So get your drop. It also has some um, some of the newer uh, Presta links that I'm looking into. So I think I put about eight or nine books on there just from Presta investigations that are coming uh, up and coming. You know what I mean? So get the drop and get get a step ahead with the Presta flow also. You know, all this is only $32 for these books and all this music, man. And all these videos, they got the videos about detoxing how to get the nano out you, how to get all the uh, the metals out you. So we got primary water videos. So we got full videos, uh, the full album reconstruction, 432 hertz, healthy listening. You got it in chopped and screwed, screwed and slow, <laughs> you know, for H-Town. Shout out to H-Town. You already know, man. Shout out to Texas. And, uh, yeah, then you got the books, you know, some uh, – you know, uh, exclusives, man, you know, that we're going to be digging on. So get your reconstruction pass. Can't say that enough. Shout out to the tribe. All right, man. So had to do some housekeeping. Had to tell y'all what it is and tell y'all what it ain't, man. Let's get busy, man. Let's talk about the 100 monkey effect. Now, this all starts with a comment. Ahab the homie Swat. He says, all praise the most high. Brother, you sparked. The 100th monkey effect. And it's been a long time since we uh, dropped on that spirit science, you know, the human history movie. They kind of broke down these monkeys at that time. Um, some people try to debunk it. and To me, it's just common sense. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That we are connected in the ether, um, outside the physical. And, you know, when we're tribed up, it affects others, you know what I'm saying? It's the reason why, um, you know, certain cities, their culture affects other people. New York culture affects other people. Down South culture affects other people. It affects it. You know, these are all examples of the 100 monkey effect. You know, one day you ain't thinking about it. Next minute you're like, damn, it's the way. Now you talk and dodge your own hijacks. <laughs> Love the, love the tie battle. Now you're talking, you know what I'm saying, frequency, vibration, you know what I'm saying? Now you're talking keeping the code. You always heard about the commandments, but now you're talking keeping the code. Now you're talking Nakaville. Yeah, man. Now you see it clearly. The hundred monkey effect is a phenomenon in which a new behavior or idea is spread rapidly by unexplained means from one group to all related groups. Very important. Related groups. Now, when they talk in terms of black culture, black culture affects the whole world. I mean, that's the literally the hundred monkey effect in their eyes, man, because they're, they're seeing us and just, you know, uh, you know, watching us dance, you know what I'm saying? Making us dance to they beat. Calling us monkeys, right? Monkey see, monkey do, right? They hijack our leaders. Monkey see, monkey do. Get to dancing. Shuffling and jiving, (laughs) 
just to pay your bills, just to not be canceled, just to not be ostracized. So when you get a Yeezy, man, just sit back and enjoy the ride and give the bro positive vibration. You know what I'm saying? No matter what you don't like. Because you're going to get more out of it than, uh, you know, not having someone, you know, in that position with all that monies that they have to listen to. Because no matter how crazy they call him, he's still a billionaire. First generation. Yeah, it's all about pieces of paper, but he played their game. <laughs> And he like Allen Iverson, their game. He changed their game. We're talking about related groups, though. So if black culture can have all that effect on non-related groups. <laughs> Just imagine, you know, how dynamic it is when it's going from you to you. You know what I'm saying? In-house, spiraling up with your people. So this hundred monkey effect is a phenomenon because in quantum, it's back to the consciousness. How did these monkeys over there get the vibe on what's happening over here? Started doing familiar behavior, a, a new behavior, right? Would you say keeping a code is a new behavior? Think about it. Is keeping the code a new behavior? Well, I mean, being out of code definitely ain't no new behavior. And if being out of code ain't no new behavior, then being in code got to be a new behavior compared to how we, you know, uh, you know what what we can witness. You know what I'm saying? What our people today, 100 years ago, 200 years ago, you know, what, I mean, back to Atlantis, right? Back to Egypt and all these guys right here in America, right? Right? So if, if you're indigenous, you got to take it all. You got to take those Roman, Romani swords and Kalelus. You got to take Egypt. You got to know this land's been hijacked for a long time. Seems to be a big vortex here. Seems to be very important. But who's the land promised to? A tribe, a tribe where there's a phenomenon, you know, like a marvel, like a marvel, a marvel phenomenon. We're just talking blue marvel. <laughs> a dragon. Fire shooting media. A winged dragon, because a serpent can't be a dragon. If there's an alchemical serpent and an alchemical dragon. In alchemy, those are two different things, a serpent and a dragon. A serpent is an unconscious, bursting into consciousness, killing everything. <laughs> yeah, that's the hijack. That's what you're up against, the unconscious. They're feeding off of your consciousness. So as much as they want to act like we're dancing to their beat, they really are, even in our state of stupor, still dancing to our beat. We still are the definition of the cool. The cool, man. The wave. It has to come out of you, my nugget. Oh, a person is a dragon. That's that's interesting, right? That's a marvel, right? That's a phenomenon. A wonder. A phenomenon. A wonder. A phenomenon which arrests the attention and causes a person to stand and gaze at the phenomenon, at the wonder. I'm just talking about one comment. <laughs> now, shout out to all my noggers leaving great comments, man. I mean, look at these comments, man. Look at them, man. Allow, allow for you, you know what I mean? 
I love your comments, man. And I really do. It's not just a, a button I press. I really do love your comment. So again, the hundred monkey effect is a phenomenon or a wonder, a marvel, a dragon. Okay. In which a new behavior like keeping a code when you've been out of code for so long and caught up in all these religions that are all leading you to something else other than the creator, other than Hawa. Because you're not putting the most high first. You just, you use it for talking points, but you're always praising someone else and having to go through someone else to get to the person you're trying to get to. Well, that's a phenomenon because Hawa said no other power before your power. It's a phenomenon. It's a marvel. It's a new behavior that you're yelling KTC because you was not yelling KTC seven years ago. I was there. I was looking. Wasn't no KTC MHOE. Wasn't no man sauce. This is a new behavior <laughs> for these Nagas in this generation, in this consciousness. This is a new behavior you're talking about. Yeah, they know about the Ten Commandments, but do they keep them? Are they keeping their Shabbat? Are they putting the most out over everything? Are they slaying their own brothers? Are they stealing, jacking, jacking their own Nagas? Are they honoring their Framer and their shaper, their mother, their father? Are they keeping their frequency high? Are they, are they avoiding mixing into lower vibrations? Are they avoiding the adultery? Whenever you got an idol, that's automatic adultery. <laughs> All idolatry is adultery. You're mixing in a false energy with the real power most high over everything who only told you to keep the code but now it's a new behavior now it's a phenomenon and you are a marvel a wonder they're wondering why you haven't been keeping the code it's in their religions they act like it's impossible <laughs> to rest Every seven days. And remember, Hawa created the earth in six days. Quote, unquote, days. <laughs> we got to dig on these days, man. <laughs> and rested on the seventh day. It's the rest. It's not about arguing which day on the Julian calendar, Gregorian calendar. It's the rest. All the days are Hawa's day. All the days we take them back. Whatever day you resting, you resting. But on this calendar, we count to seven and we rest it and make it easy without no extra, you know, bit of debating over, oh, Wednesday and then next week is Thursday. We rest so that we won't be a wonder no more. A wonder how these people been staying at the bottom when they have all the power. You, they're supposed to wonder at you like, wow, look how marvelous they are. Instead, they wonder at us and like, a sh like shame. Like, how can you not tribe up? Where is your land? Where is your Hawa? Why are you so separated? Why are you so against each other? Violent towards each other. We're, we're dragons against each other, right? The worst war you could have is a dragon on dragon war. More on more, right? Yeah, it's a wonder, man. Love to swat for putting us on the hundredth monkey effect and you know, really bringing us into our consciousness. Could we talk quantum? And we saw some of this years ago off the balcony, man. <laughs> About seven years ago uh, with the spirit science. We might get a quick clip of that. So... New behavior, idea is spread rapidly. A wah wah 
Now you hearing it. <laughs> Seven years ago, you weren't hearing hawa hawa. Now it's new behavior. It just makes sense. Ha wa. We fire dancing. Ha is the breath. Wa is the foundation, security. Ha, your fifth letter of Picto Paleo Hebrew. Wa, your sixth letter of Picto Paleo Hebrew. They say, hey, Vav. No, ha, wa. Breath. Ha, <gasps> wa. Let's see, a dragon sounds like he says, wall, when he breathes fire, when she breathes fire. The wall is the <gasps> wa. The fire. The water. The ether, the earth. That's new behavior. That's a new idea being reintroduced from the ancient love song. A new idea that, of course, isn't very new, but you must be connected with the water to the ancient love song. So, Managa, this is about you. He said, brother, you spark, but Managa, this is about Drive Nation. Your constant participation and communication and just your AHOP and your energy, your frequency has led us to asking all these questions. And that's why we're talking quantum and, you know what I'm saying, the quantum double slit experiment and, you know, the wave pattern, is it a particle? Is it a wave? Is it all happening when it's being measured or not measured? All the waves being accomplished when you're not witnessing. So when you do witness, it's now hitting one possibility. So how do you know that when you're not witnessing, it's all happening? It's not all happening. How do we know that when we close our eyes at night, whatever we think is happening in the street is happening. <laughs> when it's all happening, when you're not witnessing it, because a particle knows when it's being measured and that's at the root of quantum. It's the full wave. So this is not a conspiracy to debunk. It just makes sense that, you know, a message, uh, a behavior can be spread in the ether, such as a very small and precise idea, like the movie Inception. A specific idea is the most dangerous thing to the hijack because it spreads so rapidly. And the idea that is so basic and specific as keeping the code which is new behavior to these Nagas in 2022 is a phenomenon, but we're just talking marvels. Admiration is what they have for you when you are being you. But who's the marvel of Peru? <laughs> oh, man. I mean, this is where you're getting your miracles from. Your mirror. <laughs> Where are you seeing clear? In the mirror. It's getting crazy. It's getting crazy. Oh, man. You know, when you talk more, you are talking more. You know what I mean? <laughs> and again, more means great. And we're talking about great wonders. Amazing. They're standing there gazing as you walk into the door. They are pausing as you walk through the door because you are marvel to them. Look how you're dressing. Look at your confidence, your swag. You in swag frequency. It's admiration they're feeling. It's also a lot of hate and jealousy, right? So it appears in our own way, just like this is constantly happening. It's not one person sparking the hundredth monkey effect of everybody getting it. I'm just going to change the name to the one hundredth dragon effect. <laughs> Oh, man, the, the 500 cold keeper effect. You know what I'm saying? How about that? The 500, the 900 cold keeper effect. You know, once we had enough cold keeping families, that idea started spreading rapidly. And they say, why wouldn't we rest every seven days 
how does that hurt anybody and how does that not do nothing but help our family we ain't spending money the money we would have spent friday night saturday day that's now going into savings it's an economic battle plan we're boycotting spending any money in hijack city if all noggins if all black people and all people down with us <laughs> you stop spending money what would it do to their economy for that one day saturday friday night and then we pop off saturday night fresh off our rest and that's been our rotation man that's 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 been the uh you know how do they say the cadence? You know, that's been our cadence. You know, in music, you got a cadence. That's been the cadence of Drop Nation. It's enabled us to have a constantly growing wave because we're just talking about keeping the code, which is a phenomenon. Because Hawaii say, once we are in code, we are now getting chased with Baruch. We're getting chased down with Baruch. Chase with blessings. Blessings when you come in. Blessings when you come out. Deuteronomy 28, you know. And when you're out of code, you got to deal with all. It's all happening. All hijack. You know what I'm saying? So keeping the code is the best weapon you can ever do in any captivity. Because Hawa will save his people. Our ma will save her people. You think you're hopeless? Hope is a powerful weapon. If you believe it, powerful things can happen with your belief because you are a marvel. <laughs> yeah, you're one. Do you believe it? Well, my bro Swap believes that we sparked the hundredth dragon of the, the, the 500 Cold Keeper effect. 900 co keeper effect. We're suddenly unexplained means from one group to all related groups. Once a critical number of members of one group exhibit the new behavior or acknowledge the new idea. KTC, MHOE, MAM sauce. Because when you keep the code, the first thing you're going to do is M-H-O-E, most high of everything. That's rule number one. And when you're back in that flow, it all comes natural. And you stop killing each other. You stop stealing from each other. You know, basic stuff to build a community. And with that, you get your mem sauce. You get your water. You got David the shepherd forever. We're going to get some of that Ezekiel. We're going to go to Ezekiel 37. Just dig on it. Now you got your water. You got your mem sauce, man. A hop to Yosef to real, man, who, you know, brought us so much water throughout all these years, man. So he is the mem sauce, man. Shout out to the real family popping off. Wow. So, you know, it definitely seems that something is happening. Kanye is doing his own 100th dragon effect you know what i'm saying he himself is sparking off a phenomena and it's linked to our uh ether ether as well right we're just talking to ether uh in which new behavior keeping a code an idea m-h-o-e <laughs> is spread rapidly by unexplained means from one group to all related nagas across nagaville and once a critical number of Nagas of one group exhibit the new behavior or acknowledge the new idea as the new idea and behavior travel through the ethereal realms. The ether. <laughs> Shout out Five Eyes Mob, man. <laughs> he said the ether is quantum. Yeah, my chicken. Yeah, my. Yeah, my. M-H-O-E, man. So, we're going to start right here. Evolution of consciousness to matter. And just 
touch on a couple things to get your uh your noodle bacon, you know. Love to uh Yair Rivera Dugenio PhD abstract like go modern day science claims that all things manifest is made of matter and can be reduced to the elementary particles of matter. However, where do those elementary particles of matter originate? Accordingly, according to theoretical physicist Professor Amit Goswami, PhD, consciousness is the ground of all being, simply meaning that all things begin with consciousness. Con Well, with Sylvanus to Texas, the teachers of Sylvanus talking about saying, guard your grill, right? Guard your thoughts. Guard your thoughts against those evil wild beasts. Guard your consciousness. Don't get brought down by that anger, by that jealousy, by that rage, by that fear. Guard your thoughts by that doubt. <laughs> consciousness is the ground of all being simply meaning that all things begin with consciousness this perspective suggests that consciousness follows a downward causation causation original or organizational pattern a downward causation organizational pattern i'm not gonna I'm reading about quantum it's gonna be some big words okay <laughs> rather than the current upward theory that everything begins with matter. Okay, this paper will off offer a more advanced, detailed perspective of how consciousness is the primary administering organization of physical atomic matter as known in quantum, quantum morphogenic field, physics, and mechanics. Yeah, they tried to... Uh, uh, take one of our blue marble videos down because we we dropped a morpho a quantum morphogenic link and they tried to act like oh this link was filled with spam and if you so now if we link anything if any of the links got spam in it they'll just take our whole video down so we can't even really drop links because it puts our videos in jeopardy uh but we we will drop them in the drop chat and when we do our eat the packs and all that, we're going to put the links on there as well. So, you know, but this is the issue. <laughs> we're talking quantum morphogenic fields. They flag us on some link. A link got spam in it type of thing. All right? But really, they got real nervous when we talked morphogenic fields. And you'll see why. You'll see why. So, you know, I'm going to leave this link. But just to give you an intro. In order to fully understand the organic process of how consciousness energy converts into matter, so basically your thoughts materialize, we must first establish the tenets of existence. This gets deep. Let's go. All things emerge from the original source field, first point, creation point. So let's just get this straight. We're talking science. We're talking quantum. And they can't be saying that God don't exist and ma magical big bangs because all things emerge from the original source. We talking creator? Yeah, we talking first creation point. Let's go. M-H-O-E, most high over everything. All things return to the original source field, first creation point. Three, all things exist within the source field. Everything's connected. You can't be without your creator. And your creator can't ever, you know, get rid of you. You're a part of it all, but you can't get put in time out. You can lose consciousness. You can't go through a hell, you know, a hell state of mind. And physical hell. All things are consciousness, energy. Five, consciousness is the source field. <laughs> you are Hawa. Uh-oh, we're getting deep. 
pure source consciousness is the foundation of existence. Pure source consciousness is the foundation wow, of existence. <sighs> what did I just say? The ha is the breath to reveal I am, I exist, Awa. <laughs> Primitive Hebrew root verb to exist, to be, Awa. H1961, Awa. Wa is foundation or security, existence, breath. <gasps> Wa, <Wow>, pure. <laughs> I can't make, I mean, I can't make this up. It puts itself together, my naga. Because we in the conscious source field, pure source consciousness is the ah, wow, the existence of foundation, the foundation of existence, the breath of security, the 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 revelation foundation, the foundation of revelation. However you want to say it, it's Hawa, <laughs> and it's no coincidence that that's your six. Fifth and sixth letters in the Hebrew, Paleo Picto Hebrew. From the left, the strong power, the bot, the house, the floor plan, the tent. Then you get your gum and you move it, you gather it, you tribe it up, you walk through a doll, a door, a portal, a quantum bubble. I don't know. <laughs> Now you popping off. That's your first four letters. Then you get your your revelation, your breath. Mama's yelling at you as you enter the gates. Proverbs chapter eight. Your breath. Then the sixth letter, your foundation, your wah. Then you get your seventh letter, seventh day, your Shabbat, your Zah, your rest, which is also a weapon which is also nourishment, which is also your food. So you got your mama, your daddy, your ah, wow. Then you eat, my naga. If you don't got your, if you don't got your mama and daddy by the time you get your, your food, I don't know what else to tell you. <laughs> you you want to get your yud or your ya? Well, your ya don't come before the zan. But the Hawa come right before the Zah. You see what I'm saying? We're talking about original source energy, source field, quantum, quantum morphogenic field, physics, and mechanics propose that there exists an unquantifiable, limitless, primary water, pri <laughs> primary mem sauce, man. Primary source field of living, perpetual source consciousness that functions as the original source energy identity for all manifest creation. Within it, all manifest creation resides. The perpetual source consciousness continuously births the light spirit, the Ruach creation sphere. Infro, infrasound. Hydro sound bodies of the cosmos into the source field. A lot of fancy words, but we're talking that ruach, my love. There are seven primary concentric light spirit creation spheres, infrasound, hydro sound body levels. We're talking about within you. Seven heavens, huh? Okay. Seven, seventh letter, seventh day. <laughs> zan, zan, let's go. Oh, yeah, I know natural by law going all the way up for this. You're like, okay, hold on. I'm tuning in. Let's put it together. <laughs> natural by law, pop off. Get in that classroom, my nuggets. A sapery and get that natural by law every single Wednesday popping off for the nuggets, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey. When natural uh, tunes up, that ether bus, you already know it's going to be a beautiful ride, man. A fantastic voyage. Rest in power. Our Aculio, man. Natural by law, let go. 
There are seven primary concentric light spirit creations, spheres, infrasound, hydro sound body levels with their inherent local source fields within the cosmic order called down step creation or vibrational down stepping. The seven primary concentric light spirit creation spheres include cosmic, universe, galactic, solar. Oh, solar system, celestial, planetary species, and personal. Man, sounding like uh, Dr. Phil Valentine with this talk, man. <laughs> hey, out to the bro. Vibrational downstepping. All right, the seven primary concentric light spirit creation spheres. Say it again. Include cosmic, universe, galactic, solar system, celestial, planetary, species, and personal. Go. Okay. The source field is composed of a limitless, unquantifiable. I keep saying that. Just like with the dragon, when you look it up in etymologies and, you know, the dragon is something unknown unknown origin in alchemy unquantifiable <laughs> limitless We're talking you because you are a dragon right even that idea has spread people weren't you know connecting with the dracons you know what I'm saying but you know <laughs> we've been talking dragon and we made it you know not so weird to understand that all these angels popping off are dragons my naga, you a dragon. Because <laughs> the dragon is only the fire, the water, the ether, the earth, the elements. The elements are the dragon, not just some reptile image. The source field is composed of a limitless, unquantifiable quantum of first pre-substance state called ether. Ping, pa, ma, take the wheel. Ma been yelling every single quantum drop. Ma leaves the same comment. He says, quantum is ether, boss. <laughs> no, that's funny. Quantum is the ether. Ether is the quantum. But what is the quantum and what is the ether? And can you measure the ether? Remember that great experiment that Ma Jigga dropped on us, you know, about the Michelson Morley flow that they were trying to, Measure the movement of the earth by using the ether. Because if you're moving through the ether, it should be measured. But they couldn't find no measurement. So they couldn't prove no movement. Boss. What is a pre-substance state? We're getting real quantum -y. Quantum of first pre-substance state called ether. So the source field is composed of a limitless, unquantifiable quantum of first so the source field is the limitless quantum, is the ether, is the source field in a pre-substance state, <laughs> whatever that means, pre-substance ether, okay? That's the source field, Hawa. <laughs> we in the ether means we in Hawa. We with Hawa, we, we, we in the wave, we surfing the wave. First wave, second wave, third wave. Look, man, we we just, you know, keep a track of our progress. But the wave is the wave. It's the ancient love song. We don't new we don't need no new excellent new tune in the selling of Joseph that they tried to give the original Khan a new tune, an excellent new tune. And they brought them their cross and their idols and their Zeus. We connect to our source. We're unified, not around no religion, around the code, because the source is in code. The source, like the matrix, the source is code. It ha it's coding, right? Computer coding. If you're in assimilation, then there's a code. There's a way to win, and there's a way to be devoured. If you're not in assimilation, you still got codes. The police got a code. The gangster got a code. The fireman got a code. Seems that everyone kind of got a code. You're borrowing from all these other codes and you're ignoring your code. You, 
You're ignoring your source field because you are limitless. You are unidentifiable, unquantifiable, unknown origin dragon. You are the pre, the primary. <laughs> You're the ether. Ka. If this postulation is correct, then the source field is a massive endless ether field for ether is consciousness. Five eyes ma take the wheel. He said, I been old, man. And it is consciousness that actually goes through these stages to become the different levels of sound. Four, three, two hertz frequency. We have to be cognizant, conscious of our sound, our frequency, light, and matter. What's the matter? <laughs> you got to get your matter in code so you can see the light, <laughs> so you can hear the sound, man. And then they go into the holographic framework. So I'll start right there with that at the moment. I'm going to bounce around a little bit. See what else we're talking, man. We're just talking about the 100 monkey. Matter of fact, let's go into this 100 monkey a little bit more. The hundredth monkey effect. All right. A after the bro swat. Let's go. The hundredth monkey effect is a hypothetical, okay, phenomenon in which a new behavior or idea is spread rapidly by unexplained means from one group to all related groups. Once a critical number of members of one group exhibit the new behavior or acknowledge the new idea, the behavior was said to propagate even to groups that are physically separated. We always say, man, ain't no separation, only the wave. So, along with the internet, that kind of makes a quasi-ether, you know, like it connects a lot of people, a lot of places. You don't have to be um, so uh, secluded, when you have a new idea, you can spread it across Nagaville pretty quickly on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter and YouTube and TikTok, whatever you're doing, right? So, but without the social media, everything they're doing is a knockoff of which you already got. It almost inhibits, you know what I'm saying, what we would naturally develop, right? We we get on their Facebooks <laughs> And we share our whole lives and we do all these things. But you used to have a memory and you used to memorize phone numbers. And you know what I'm saying? We had a different consciousness that we were able to like, we knew where we were going to be. We didn't need cell phones to track us. You know, we knew where to meet the homies, man. We knew when to go home. We were able to kind of, be on a conscious grid with each other. And now with the technology, we put it all through their technology. And I just not really thinking about that. Like, dang, like they took away our natural development of communication that, you know, probably was going right in this direction, you know, as this phenomena, we'll be able to pop off so many, you know, uh, evolving states, man, so much more, new behaviors so many more ideas would be spreading some so much more rapidly in our neighborhoods if we weren't just tied in in their social media even groups that are physically separated and have no apparent means of communicating with each other we would have had a natural form reforming but we use their communication right we see it through their eyes, their lens, which makes us, you know, witness them collapse in the wave pattern because by witnessing, observing, measuring quantum, you collapse the wave pattern from it being all possibilities to only one option, only one possibility. And if you're only looking at it through the hijack lens, through their social media lens, through their a uh, mass media lens, then you're seeing how they're collapsing the wave pattern. You're 
you're helping you're helping them by observing through their lens that they only want to collapse the wave pattern on your destruction. But when you see it through Hawa's lens, your source, right? Your your source. When we get back into our source field, when we get back into our ether, my naga. Yeah, ether is consciousness. We're back in our source flow. Communicating with each other is easy. Since it was first first popularized, the effect has been discredited in many cases. So the first thing they want to do is try to discredit the possibility that you can communicate with each other without them. That you could be on your own grid, your own network. You got to go through their social media to communicate. No, you don't, my naga, because you're a phenomena. You're a wonder. <laughs> they marvel at you. They are admiring you. Because you do amazing things. They stop. They gaze. They pause. Because you're a wonder. Because you, Manaka, can communicate. You're the marvel. You don't have to go through their communication. They can discredit what they want to, but you know what's up. <laughs> One of the primary factors in the spread of this concept is that many authors quote secondary, tertiary, or post-tertiary sources that have themselves misrepresented the original observations. So whenever they go so hard to discredit something before you even learn about what the hell this is, you know, because if all we're talking about is our consciousness for the cons, our communication, then there's nothing they can do to mess with that. That's very easy to believe that we have the power to com to communicate and connect without their grid. Oh, it's discredited by who? <laughs> who are these guys? So again, you know, the hundredth monkey effect popularized in the mid late 1970s by Lyle Watson, L Y A L L who documented the findings of several Japanese primatologists from the 1950s. Between 1952 and 53, primatologists conducted a behavioral study of a troop of Muskaka Fuskata Japanese monkeys on the island of Kojima. The researchers would supply these troops with such food as sweet potatoes and wheat in open areas, often on beaches. An unanticipated byproduct of the study was that the scientists witnessed several innovative evolutionary behavioral changes by the troop, two of which were orchestrated by one young female, shout out to the aqua, <laughs> and the others by her siblings or contemporaries. The account of only one of these behavioral changes spread into a phenomenon, i.e. the 100th monkey effect, which Watson would then loosely publish as a story. Oh, stop the conjecture. <laughs> According to Watson, the scientists observed that some of the monkeys learned to wash sweet potatoes initially through an 18-month-old female named Emo. By the researchers of the troop of 1953, Emo discovered that sand and grit could be removed from the potatoes by washing them in a stream or in the ocean Gradually, the new potato washing habit spread through the troop in the usual fashion through observation and repetition, unlike most food customs. All right, man, I'm skipping a parentheses. Let's go. The behavior spread up into 1958, according to Watson, when a sort of group consciousness, this is what we're talking about, is like reaching that critical mass, right? Mass consciousness. They're trying to duplicate this with artificial intelligence and they call it what? Synchronicity. Uh, that's another word for it too. Oh, man. It's going to come to me later, but you know I'm talking about when, when everything is happening, when all their AI is now free thinking, you know, popping off they can't control it no more all that stuff so it's all about group consciousness they're trying to simulate their own group consciousness you know and we're just popping off suddenly developed among the monkeys as a result of one last monkey learning potato washing by conventional means 
Watson concluded that the researchers observed that once a critical number of monkeys or dragons <laughs> was reached, the hundredth monkey, or i.e. the hundredth monkey, so they're saying that this hundredth monkey, you know, was the critical mass, but it can be anything. It can be 50, it can be 500, it could be 900 cold keepers, you know what I'm saying? How many cold keepers does it take for all Nagas across the Nagaville plain to get back in cold by default? Now, that's the question. The question they can't debunk because we're talking theory and we're investigating. How many cold keepers does it take to pop off this group consciousness? So that next thing you know, you got your mama and, and your auntie and people that weren't even really tripping on what you are saying about the cold, but suddenly they talking to you about the cold. Suddenly you got Kanye saying, look, man, <laughs> we the 12 tribes. There's going to be confusion as people get out of their habits, but just hear the intention and hear what they really are wanting to say. We're reading our, we're reaching our critical number, my naga, with cold keepers. It's getting easier and easier to talk to, to anybody about not killing and not stealing and keeping a Shabbat and that. This ain't no religion. We're just keeping these tenets, right? We're, we're keeping this moral code, and that's putting us in a frequency to get our land back, to restore our, our, our nation, my knock. Without us having to really pop off much of anything until we really uh, are ready to, the code itself gives us protection, gives us foundation, gives us, ah, wow, a breath, revelation, security. Foundation. Wow. What is the critical number? Oh, the biology of the unconscious. Okay. <laughs> what is the critical number, man? How many dragons does it take? How many dragons on the wall? Critical number of monkeys was reached. The hundredth monkey, this previously learned behavior, instantly spread across the waters to the monkeys on nearby islands. So it was worth revisiting. I'm glad the, the homie Swap brought it back up because he's saying, you know, drop. Brother, you sparked the hundredth monkey effect. And I'm saying you sparked it, my bro Swap. Because it starts with a thought that's manifested. You had this thought. Drop Nation has this thought. The ether has this thought. Not one person. I'm grateful to represent this thought. I'm grateful to represent this wave. But I represent it with my ox. I represent it with my aquas. Everything will become clear. You don't have to argue about who is who and who is this and who is that. Just keep the cold, my naga. Just keep the cold. Buy your land. Keep the cold. Build your fence. Build whatever you need. Build your structures and keep the cold. Because ain't not one Israelite been rolled up on that's been in cold. At the end of the day, the cold is your protection. The cold will have fire coming from the sky for you. That's what you have to believe. Because that's the cold. That's the rules of this playground. Call it assimilation. There's rules to beating this thing. But you've been defeated because you're going your own way. A wall gave a simple code. It starts with most high over everything, right? Right? So we could put away all the nonsense and everything else we thought we knew and just say, hey, I ain't trying to prove how smart I am to nobody. Most high over everything, bro. Hey, most high over everything, man. And we start right there.
we bring together our commonalities. Not poke at all our differences, man. We're not all going to believe the same thing, but that shouldn't stop us from progress. But in code, that takes you back to your source, your ether, your consciousness, which is the source field that they can't quantify. It is the quantum that has no limit. It's the ether, ether squad. So we popping off, we sparking off, man. Instantly spreading across the waters to the Nagas on the islands. So imagine all the islands start having cold keepers. They just start getting in cold. Like it's in their heart bone. I mean, this is serious. How many cold keepers to reach the critical number, my nag? Hey, whatever it is, we popping off. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> nah, this ain't no 144,000 talk, man. <laughs> nah. There's a number Hawa got to reach the critical number where this cold keeping behavior instantly spreads across the waters to all my nagas on the islands. All my nagas on the inlands. All connected. Let's go. Again, morphogenic fields left the conscious youth global movement.com. A possible explanation of the hundred monkey phenomenon is found in the theories of morphogenic fields. So now you see how the morphogenic flow that we was talking about last time, Blue Marvelin connects with this hundred monkey flow love to the ox swat. And this hundred monkey thing just means that there's a critical number to be reached before your idea spreads rapidly. Allow Hawa all across Nagaville, you know what I'm saying? Nagaville popping off. And all they could do is turn and say, Allow Hawa. And the, the water to all you Nagas for getting cold so that we got in cold by default. We got in cold like the Valley of Dry Bones. It's all happening. It's all happening. It's all happening. We got in cold because it's prophesied. For I have said forever is mercy built. Hawa's mercy is forever. Hawa's never going to stop having mercy on you. Oh, again? He going to save us again, boss? Forever is mercy built. In the very heavens thou dost establish your faithfulness. I have made a covenant with my chosen. I have sworn unto David my Serve it. You can't come with no Yahweh shy over this. It's most high over everything who has made a covenant with Khan David. Oh no, it's the righteous branch. You are the righteous branch. You are the generations. The tribe that's waking up, valley of dry bones, the flock, the righteous branch, the flock that a shepherd needs, a good shepherd needs a flock. You are the flock. You are the righteous branch. But David is David <laughs> forever, man. <laughs> Suspended animation. Who is Preston John? Forever will I establish your seed. Forever, boss. You are a marvel. You're a phenomenon. And build up your throne to all generations, man. I'm just reading it with you, my naga. Word for word, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> this ain't no trickery. It's in your flow. You just 
it has to hit critical mass for you. You know what I mean? You can't fight the great story, the great, you know, creator who creates a beginning and an end. And at the end, the end of days, at the end, for the children of Israel shall sit solitary many days without a king. You weren't searching for David. You hadn't hit critical mass to begin your search. Seven years ago, no one's searching for Preston John. No one's checking for Moshe. No one's searching for Dawi. It still hasn't hit critical mass where they really see clearly about the Preston investigation. A few of us, we've been surfing that way, but that's only a few. But how many cold keepers does it take for it to be on their heart bone to search for who? Let's read it. Afterwards, the children of Israel will return, my nagi, and seek Hawa, my nagi, and David their Khan, my nagi. And come trembling unto Hawa and his goodness, because Hawa's mercy is forever, Psalms 89. His covenants with David, Psalms 89. Afterwards shall the children return. That means you hit critical mass. <laughs> Hundred monkey effect. Nine hundred co-keeper effect. <laughs> Dragon effect. It's all happening effect. We see clearly effect because you seek it. Seeking means to desire greatly. You're desiring to be MHOE again. In code. By default, it's spreading rapidly. It's spreading across the world as my nugget. <laughs> this is happening. They call it a new behavior because they just haven't witnessed it. In their eyes, everybody needs to witness. But this idea is spreading rapidly. What I did. Well. That we should seek the creator. Not go through JC to get to the creator. But we seek Hawa directly. And we seek David. Because you must search to get that mem sauce, to get that water, because David got the keys, because the covenant is with David, not Yahweh Shai. David, this is not rocket science, man. This, this is not a few options here. <laughs> the covenant is with David, not the branch of David, because you're the branch of David that gets the covenant because the covenant is with David. And shall come trembling into Hawa and his goodness in the end of days, my nagi. Yeah. You are the valley of dry bones. Ezekiel 37. Prophesy unto these bones, son of man. Oh, Yay, oh Kanye. <laughs> oh, you dry bones, man. Hear the word of Hawa. Thus says Hawa unto these bones. Behold, I will cause breath to enter you. <gasps> breath, Hebrew. First letter, strong power, Aleph, L, Aleph, Bot, family, house, tent, floor plan, Gom, gathering, you're tribing up. Managa, this is a love story. Just read about it. You walk through a door. Your mama got her arms raised and gives you a breath. <sighs> Look at the sound. 
You breathe, you inhale, feminine, that's mama. Exhale, masculine, that's your daddy with that. Wow, that's security, secure. Proverbs 8, mama said, I greet you at the gate. They say, man, dodge the hijack. You, <gasps> not hey. <gasps> wow. That's how you breathe that flame. That's your weapon, your security to get your cutoff nourishment, your cutoff day. Seventh letter, Zion, that they turn to Zion. Is Zion. Matok is a weapon to cut, my naga to separate from the hijack. Then you start creating a wall. Maybe you start building a fence for joy world. Maybe you start building a wall, my naga. Hey, uh, to the tribe. If you don't got your hawa by then, if you don't have your breath by then, you don't got no food or no nourishment. If you don't got no security by then, you don't got no food or no nourishment because somebody's taking it. You building, but someone else is enjoying the fruits. Right? Ain't that 2022? They don't even let you build no more. You can't even talk about building without being censored, right? You got your breath. You got your mama. You got our ma. I will cause you to breathe. <sighs> what comes next? You got security. You don't got your creator by then. You don't got no food. You're looking for Yah. You're looking for Yahweh. Because you said that's the Yud. The Yah. Because it says to worship. Worship is not the name of the creator. <laughs> I love the Yah. But don't confuse that and let them confuse you with their yah. Because their yah ain't got nothing to do with your zon, with your food, with your security, your added security, your hook, your tent peg to secure the tent, the floor plan that started way back with your family, when the strong power, your leader, most high over everything, entered your house entered your family, you started to gather, you started to walk, you started to move with the gum, with the foot, through a door, you started to tribe up through a vortex, through a portal, and you got your breath. You coming back from the dry bones, man. Behold, I will cause breath to enter you. You didn't get that breath through a hijack. You got it like Adam got that breath in his nostrils. Direct breath. Direct breath, my naga. So why would you go through a hijack to get to the creator? Why you got to go through JC to get back to the creator when you got breath directly? When Adam got his breath directly? When Hawaz telling you straight up right here in Ezekiel 37 that I will cause breath to enter you. That's direct breath, man. And you breathe back out through the son of man? Or do you breathe back to Hawa? Because you shall live. And I will lay sinews upon you and will bring up flesh upon you. This is happening to the tribe right now. This is happening to you. You may feel uncomfortable. You may feel off balance, but stay patient with yourself. Stay patient with your sister. Stay, stay patient with your brother because they're being framed. They're being shaped by Hawa. I will lay sinews upon you and bring up flesh upon you and cover you with skin and put breath in you. You being rebuilt. You are being rejuvenated. You are the dragon and you shall live and you shall know that I am Hawa. Who? Ha, uh, wah, wow. that's not trickery. That's not some angel's name. That's not nothing but breath and security. And anyone who's in that frequency or using that name as a frequency is taking it directly from the Pictopaleo. Non-hijackable before the hijack. Hey, Vav, they turn it to the Vav. 
No, it's the wah. Why would they switch your frequency up? We're just talking sound, right? Quantum con. Let's go. So I prophesied as schematic. There was a noise and behold a commotion and the bones came together. What happens when 432 hits that sand? It comes together and forms geometric patterns. You come back together, man, through sound. <gasps> wow. Bone to its bone. And I beheld and there were sinews upon them. Flesh came up, skin covered them above, but there was no breath in them. Then said he unto me, prophesy unto the breath. Prophesy, son of man, say to the breath, say to mama. Thus says, wah, come from the four winds, O breath. Breathe upon these slain nagas. Because we're in a state of, we're in a state of death. You got no land. You got no tribe. You got no car. You dead. But not forever. We getting out that Ruach Tarde Ma that they may live. So I prophesied as he commanded me and the breath came into them. This is a prophecy about future Nagas just like you. Just like you. <laughs> and they lived and stood upon their feet an exceedingly great host. Then he said unto me, son of man, These bones are the whole tribe. <laughs> Exceeding great host. It's a gang of you when you back in order. When you hit that critical mass, you start keeping the cold by default because enough cold keepers were popping off. Hawa said, all right, let it be known then. Our bones are dried up. Our hope is lost. We are clean cut off. Therefore, prophesy and say to them, ain't that how you feel, my nigga? Dry it up. Hope is lost. Cut off. Therefore, prophesy and say to them, thus says Hawaii, behold, I will open your graves and cause you to come up out of your graves, O oh, my people. And I will bring you into the land of Israel and you shall know that I am Hawa when I have opened your graves and caused you to come out of your graves on my people. And I will put my Ruach in you. Breath, security. If that's Hawa's plan, strong power, leader, Hawa. Aleph enters your house. Power, your power, most high enters your house, your body, your tribe. You start to gather, you move together. You hear the same sound, you're at the same door. You get the same breath, the same revelation. Have the same security. Because what's breath without security and what's security without no breath? It's Hawa. They rock together. When you come through that entrance, you get your secure breath. Then you start to eat, man. You want to eat? Is you hungry, cons? Are you hungry? You ready to be nourished and for the hijack to be cut out? You want peace? Their peace ain't your peace. You want your shalawam. Your shalawam means that the hijack it's decimated. You, you don't have no fear, no hijack. Hijack don't even exist to you. That's peace because nobody's jamming you up. You don't want to get jammed up no more. You want nourishment. You want food and security. You want your shalawan. It's all in your Hebrew. Pre hijack Ibaru. Because you're coming back. Because Israel has returned. That means you're out of your graves. And the first thing you get is your leg, my naga. 
first day you get is your land. And you shall know I am Hawaii when I have opened your graves and caused you to come about your graves, O oh, my people. And I will put my spirit in you and you shall live. And I will place you in your own land. That's first thing that happens when you're out of code is that you lose your land. First thing that happens when you get back in code is that you get your land. Now you building fences on land because the tribe came together. And you shall know I, a while have spoken and performed, it says a while. Then we got the two sticks, the towel coming together for Judah, for Joseph, for the tribes to be reunited. Because the whole point of this story is unity. That's all mama wants. That's all daddy wants is for the tribe to get along. That's why you have a code. That's why you have a code of conduct in any field medical field, science field, supposedly, right? Sports. <laughs> you have a code of conduct. On the road, when you're driving, there's a code. On the road, there's a code. Well, there was a code from the very beginning. When you're back in code, you're back on the road <laughs> to the promised land. You get your land right out the gate. Yeah, man. How beautiful is this? I will save them out of their dwelling places wherein they have sinned, will cleanse them. You got that water. So shall they be my people. This is a story, a love song, an ancient love song about the creator and the people of the creator, the children, the firstborn. And I will be their power. And my servant, here we go again. We got it, Hosea 3. We got it, Psalms 89. Ezekiel 37, a third witness that David shall be king over them in the end of days. Prester, John, priest, king. And they all shall have one shepherd. How easy is this for us to comprehend now that we're reaching critical mass, right? <laughs> the hundred monkeys popping off, the spark is happening. <laughs> the dragon and 900 code keeping dragons are popping off. We see one, that means one. Yahweh Shai fall back. Muhammad fall back. There's only one shepherd for the cons. When we keep the code and make it simple, not Judaism, we're talking about the ancient love song, code keeping around here, man, to get our land back for our people. No more idols. What's rule number one? Most high. M-H-O-E, man, right? No more idols, man. No more J-C, none of that. And they shall all have one shepherd. Who? David. They shall also walk in my ordinances, observe my statutes, and do them. Because they keep, they K-T-C, they keep the code. And they shall dwell in the land that I have given unto Jacob, my servant. This is what happens when enough cold keepers are popping off. This is what happens when enough cold keeping is happening. And they shall dwell in the land that I have given unto Hawquab, Jacob, Israel, wherein your fathers dwell. And they shall dwell therein, they and their children. Ain't that all we want collectively? And their children's children forever. Ain't that what we want, man? Can we all agree on this? Protection forever for our children's children. And who? David, Kandawi, my servant, shall be their prince, their con forever. There ain't no confusion. There ain't no debate. Who? Is the cod forever, forever, boss, forever. One shepherd, David Dawi, is con forever. Fountain of youth, ring a bell. Moreover, I will make a covenant of Shalom with them. It shall be an everlasting covenant. 
Didn't we just read about this covenant? Psalms 89. Hold up. <laughs> I have made a covenant with my chosen. I have sworn unto David, my servant. Forever I will establish your seed because Hawa swore an oath covenant with David. For the dismount. <laughs> For the dismount. We still talking quantum. We're talking valley of dry bones because of the quantum consciousness source field MHOE. I will establish them. It shall be an everlasting covenant with who? David. I will establish them forever and multiply them. And I will set my sanctuary in the midst of them forever. Has this happened yet, boss? No, boss. So it's a prophecy, boss. Ezekiel is prophesying about you coming back into consciousness. Being MHOE. Hawa. First, most high over everything, seeking our, our Hawa, desiring Hawa, which means you desire the code. Because why desire something if you ain't going to listen and give Ahab and respect and stop slaying your brother? Stop false witnessing on your brother. Stop covenanting on your brother and sister. Stop being covered as Nagas. That gets you out of cold. You lose your land because you're now fighting against each other, killing each other. But one day, Hawaii's sanctuary will dwell in the midst of us forever. And when that happens, my Naga, <laughs> please believe that we, Preston John, will take the wheel. And it's a pleasure to fulfill any purpose, um, you know, connected with the main purpose, you know what I'm saying? The main intention of the tribe reuniting and having plenty of that mem sauce, man, plenty of water. My dwelling place also shall be over them and I will be their power and they shall be my people, my people. And the nation shall know that I am Hawa that sanctifies Israel. Everybody going to know Hawa sanctifies you. That means he loves you. That means mama loves you. That means you've been cleansed. That means we are now seeing clearly we don't need to communicate through social media. We communicate on another grid, another consciousness. They can't even tune in. We don't need the likes. We don't need the views. We already connected. When my sanctuary shall be in the midst of them forever. Yeah. They shall have one shepherd. <laughs> Dawi will be their prince forever. We know what the covenant of peace is. It's when you're back on your land and Hawa has established you multiplied you and put his sanctuary in the midst of you forever. If that ain't happened yet, boss, then you ain't had uh, the experience yet of the covenant of peace, the covenant of Shalom that comes with the whole new, uh, <laughs> a whole new reality where you are saved out of your dwelling places. Right now, you don't feel too safe. You don't feel too safe. Keep it real. And all these idols a lot of us have are detestable to this day, to this day. So we ain't there yet. But when we do, there ain't no argument about who the shepherd is. <laughs> My servant David, forever. Forever, boss. Forever, <laughs> forever established. We're just talking quantum. So we'll get back to this hundred hundreds monkey flow. I got you know a lot more links to dig on. Seeing what science got to say about it, man. You know what science saying, man. The critical mass theory can also be applied to almost every sociological change 
Yeah, big sociological changes, big and small. <laughs> and not just in terms of a numbers game. Why and how was it that drink driving finally became socially unacceptable? What were the messages that changed the public perception of smoking once and for all? So pretty much saying that we are being manipulated. Uh, they know if they can get enough people thinking a certain way that they can hundred monkey us, you know, that we'll start thinking a certain way because everybody's doing it. Whether we're talking tenderoni and all that other stuff. But if we have a narrative against that, they also know that a bunch of people will be affected by that, which is why they put that clink down, put us in YouTube jail, <laughs> censor us, censor Yeezy. They don't want that critical mass popping off. Nah. You know, the AI is trying to reach their singularity. That's what I meant. Uh, you know, yeah, singularity, <laughs> synchronicity, but they call it singularity when it's all happening. You know what I'm saying? With AI, it's, just, it's all at full pop-off mode, un unstoppable, unreversible. But you are also reaching that point of critical mass as well. And it's a frequency war. It's a frequency war, man. So, yeah, I'm going to leave some more links on the 100th monkey. And I'm going to leave them in the drop, drop, chat, <laughs> chat, 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 because, you know, I don't want them to be like, oh, there's spam on these links. We got to take your video down. We got to take your video down. You know what? There is some uh, advertisements and stuff. We're talking these anime links. Okay. Yeah. All right. So because I leave a link, you're going to take my video down? You're going to take the whole video down? Huh? I'm on the site. To, I'm not telling you to go to a site that I'm not surfing the wave on. Yeah, they want to discredit. They want to discredit stuff. But yeah, this is uh some cool stuff to think about. You got this uh Reconner Robert Sheldrake who's really in the midst of this whole uh morphic field talk. The story as told by Watson and Keyes is popular among new age authors and personal growth gurus and has become an urban legend and part of new age mythology. Also, Robert Sheldrake, S-H-E-L-D-R-K-D-R-A-K-E, or Dragon, has cited that a phenomenon like the hundred monkey effect would be evidence of morphic fields. We're talking consciousness, quantum, bringing about non-local effects in consciousness and learning as a result the story has become has also become a favorite target of the committee for the scientific investigation of claims of the paranormal <laughs> it's paranormal it's spooky to them man it was also used in the title essay the hunter's monkey and other paradigms of the paranormal published by them in 1990 oh weird strange it's unquantifiable yeah, man. You know, you see what's happening, man. We're talking phenomenons. We're talking wonders, man. Another link from philosophical.com. Philosophical. They got, you know, they got a lot to say. I'm just surfing away, you know. They got a quick clip on this, uh, Ru uh what's it called? Rubric, Rubric, whatever his name is. <clears throat> I'm out of here, man. But you can, you know, see what they're talking about. Some of the folks, you know, some stuff they're taking down already. You know, just get some more of the inner workings, you know what I mean? See what that Sheldrick guy got to say about it. I do want to come back to this and talk about this holographic flow <laughs> and how this relates to holographic simulations. You know, I keep saying, the simulation talk, because, you know, they like talking simulation, but what does the 100 monkey effect have to do with quantum evolution and the holographic reality? <laughs> Since we live in a holographic reality, I'm on uh, psychedelicadventure.net, where any, we live in a holographic reality where any one change in the hologram creates a ripple effect. Oh, oh we're talking now, we're talking the drops. See, all this stuff is relative. 
You know, seven years ago, wasn't no one calling they drop, drop. <laughs> I got some drop. I'm dropping them on this and I'm dropping on that. But we see the drop coming together to, to form a wave, a wave pattern, a spiral. Managa, this is a new idea, <clears throat> but it's hitting critical mass to where now that's how you see it. You see the information as drop because you see it as the water. Because Drop Nation got the water. It takes a whole nation dropping that drop for the wave to pop off. Con, they're talking ripple effects and begins to change and affect the entire hologram. This effect was also observed in 1960s by several Japanese primatologists who were studying snow monkeys. Okay. Here's an article by Owen Waters about the 100 monkey effect, which clearly shows this quantum evolution taking place. So I'll leave that for you, man. This is, you know, they're talking shifts. The shift is the awakening of humanity's heart bone. This transformation of consciousness, the greatest one ever recorded, first became apparent in the mid-1960s and has been building momentum momentum ever since. And Managa, if this is happening with snow monkeys, imagine you, okay? <laughs> Just imagine the Nagas. The shift is a collective transformation consisting of the sum of each individual step into the new reality. I'll say it again. Dr. Valentine style. <laughs> Shout out to Dr. Phil Valentine, man. You always be using him words, man. The shift is a collective transformation consisting of the sum of each individual step into the new reality. Each person in their own time is moving forward into a stage of consciousness, which brings uh, a wider vista and an awareness. We call ourselves the awareness community, man which springs from the heart bone <laughs> when enough people's primary attention becomes focused through their heart chakra or they, they start to desire or seek, right? Because the desire is to seek. When you are seeking Hawa, when Israel returns and seeks the creator, what does it mean to seek? I mean, you are the marvel. <laughs> to go on a search, a quest, okay, to inquire. Hmm. Followed sometimes by out or after to inquire for. Are you inquiring for a while? To endeavor to find or gain any need. To search for by going from place to place. Are you truly seeking Hawa? Let's go to etymologies. Etymology. Love to let us find the truth. Shout out to the I. We're just talking about seeking, man. Yeah. To long for, wish for, or desire, look for, man. So when you are seeking, you are desiring a while. And when you're, when you're desiring a while, then you are bringing it right to the heart. When enough people's primary attention becomes focused through their heart chakras, then the hundred monkey effect will occur. The heart bone got to be activated connected across Nagaville by a simple message, a simple code that sparks rapid change, rapid evolution or awareness. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Yeah, so much of this is popping off, man, and Oh, it's a good video, you know. I'm going to put all this in the drop, drop chat. And, oh, okay, this is the uh, a little bit of the spirit science flow. You know, fair use in your caboose. We always got to let them know. Got to let them know. 
Uh, yeah, fair use, copyright 107, you know, uh, we're going to do some criticism, commenting, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and some recon. Fallback, spirit science, you got the drop. This is a little clip, uh, you know, for the dismount, digging on this 100th monkey flow. <laughs> As we walk out the door, we're talking quantum like they never talk quantum before. 100 monkey, man, let's go. Fuscata on an island in Japan. They were providing the monkeys with sweet potatoes by dropping them in the sand. The monkeys liked sweet potatoes, but they didn't like the sand and dirt so much. A few monkey children figured out that they could wash their sweet potatoes, and some of them taught the technique to their parents. Only a few of the adult monkeys did this, though. This went on for some time, until one day, the monkeys who actually knew the technique hit critical mass. And bingo, the technique started spreading faster than it did before. Monkeys started learning it really easily across all of the Japanese islands nearby, as well as on the mainland. They knew that there had to be something that wasn't yet understood about how a species is connected to itself. So what did we do? We tried it on humans. Our research team made a picture out of human faces, about a hundred faces hidden within a single picture. But at first glance, you could only see about six or seven. They did several surveys with a few hundred people in Australia and said, all right, find the faces. Most people could only pick out six, seven, eight, nine or so, not many more. After that, the research team went to Britain and aired the picture on a closed cable BBC special that was shown only in England. They showed where all of the faces were, every last one. Half of the research team, which stayed in Australia, did the experiment again with new subjects. And lo and behold, people were just naturally able to see more faces. After this experiment, they knew that something definitely connects us all, and the field of noetics is learning more about it daily. <laughs> so, uh, it's all happening. When you start meditating on the code, when you start desiring your pure water connection, most of everything, and you know it's attainable by just listening and getting that covetous out your heart bone and watching your mouth so you ain't no false witness and you know, uh, you know, not mixing your frequency with this 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 lower energy, no adultery, you know, keeping your oaths, my naga, and that's you know, none of us are perfect in all this, our Shabbats, but you're meditating on it, you're desiring because that's your that's your way of showing Ahab and giving Ahab back to Hawa so that you can have your land and be uh in victory, man. And, we know that we already won. <laughs> hey, how to natural by law. We already know. Morphogenic fields. They're scared of us talking about it, but we're going to pick it up here next time. And the development biology, developmental biology of the early 20th century, a morphogenic field is a group of cells able to respond to discrete localized biochemical signals. So... Yeah, we could talk quantum, but we could also just break this into developmental biology. My na <laughs> my naga, I mean, biochemical signals would be like that consciousness, like that ether, like that message, you know, that you can, you know, spread from the heart bone, right? From the heart chakra. We're learning a lot about uh, quantum. Biochemical signals leading to the development of specific Morphological structures or organs. So these cells get a signal and they start developing whatever specific organ or structure, the spatial or temporal, extends the embryonic field or dynamic, or excuse me, the spatial temporal extents of the embryonic field or dynamic. And within the field is a collective of collection of interacting cells out of which a particular organ is formed. Wow. As a group, the cells within a given morphogenic field are constrained. Thus, cells in the limb field will become a limb tissue. Those in the cardiac field will become heart tissue. However, specific cellular programming of individual cells in a field is flexible. An individual cell in a cardiac or cardiac field can be redirected via cell-to-cell -cell signaling to replace specific damage or missing cells. So a cell could be anything like a particle. It's all happening 
A particle is a wave. It's hitting all possibilities. It depends, depends on the signal and the need, the necessity, you know, what's being witnessed, what's being observed. <laughs> Imaginal disk in insect larvae are examples of morphogenic fields, man. So there's a whole history on morphogenic fields and has everything to do with you, man. Everything to do with quantum and uh, just a great, you know, little start right here. <clears throat> a good place to start next time. <clears throat> Maybe it's uh, just watching this, um, you know, Rupert Sheldrick drop and, you know, we'll belly flop a couple minutes into it, but it's pretty dynamic, man. Uh, we'll pick it up from here, though. We'll pick it up right here. Put it this man. Ski through the north and the south pole. This is a very important property because organisms are inherently holistic and their abilities to regenerate um, are a little bit like the ability of a magnet uh, to remain a whole magnet even if you cut it into pieces. This is very different from any machinery we know. If you cut a computer into pieces, all you get is a broken computer. If you cut a car into pieces, you just get a broken car. Do you cut a field organized system like a magnet or a hologram, which is an interference pattern within a field uh, into pieces, uh, you can constitute the whole from uh, those pieces. Uh, fields are not divisible. Um, they are holistic. Well, the idea is that morphogenetic fields shape uh, developing organisms and they shape not just multicellular organisms, they shape unicellular organisms as well. These organisms can have quite complex patterns um, and forms, even though they're only a single cell. If we look at the next slide, we'll see uh, radiolarians. These are single-celled organisms that live in the sea, and they have a silicaceous skeleton. What you're seeing is the skeletons of these cells. These are all different species. As you see, they're completely different in form. And these are all formed by a single cell which has one nucleus and one lot of proteins. You can't possibly explain these, these forms by turning on or off protein synthesis because um, it's all in the same cell. And it looks like vibration patterns, you know, frequency. The next slide shows uh, radiolarians in a famous 19th century illustration by Ernst Haeckel. And these uh, radiolarians, uh, again, like the ones you've just seen photographs of, have these very complex skeletons, which are all formed by the single cell. The next slide shows pollen grains. Uh, these are from different species. Each species has its own characteristic kind of pollen grain, which is why you can reconstruct what grew where in the past by looking at pollen grains preserved in box. Um, you can identify the species. Each of these are single cells as well, with quite distinctive forms. And finally, the next slide shows a single-celled alga, which grows in fresh water, called acetabularia. Belly fly, belly fly. The activities of membrane transport proteins uh, could go one way or another. Everything's probabilistic. All sorts of things could happen. And left to their own devices, they'd happen at random. But with a morphogenetic field imposing a form or pattern on them, restricting the probabilistic processes, a pattern can be imposed. I think morphogenetic fields work by imposing such patterns. I go into more detail uh, about this in my book, Morphic Resonance, um, in Britain called A New Science of Life, the original title. This is the third edition. Uh, or in my book, Presence of the Past, which is the... And yeah, man, get the book. I mean, I'm just bringing you to the wall, but patterns, right? It's all about patterns, designs, you know, this code, this flow, you know what I mean? It's a, it's a direct design and pattern directed to Hawa's people, you know what I'm saying? This code is for you. This ain't no English... A, B, C, D, F, G. This is where they get it after the Greek and the Latin. But these this these pictures is frequency. All it has an American all of it has a numeric value. It's a code. It's coding. 
this story being told is through the code. And if you need a pattern, you know, you got to get a noggin to, you know, put the most high first, no vanity. You know what I'm saying? It has to be a pattern. Your your Shabbat is a pattern. Seventh day, seventh letter, Zion, Zion, food, cut it off, get nourishment. So the pattern is the code. And the code <laughs> is the source field, limitless, unquantifiable, quantum of first pre-substance state called ether. Because ether is the code, consciousness. Ether is consciousness. Wow. <laughs> Morphogenic fields and beyond, man. By Robert Gilman, another great source. And he has a whole interview with that same uh speaker that we were just belly flopping in. We'll get back to that, uh Rupert Sheldrake, but this is a great interview that, you know, might open up some things for a knock. You know what I'm saying? This is pretty crazy right here. I'll leave y'all with this, man. <laughs> they said, um, what has been happening experimentally with regard to morphogenic fields in the past two or three years? Rupert replies, there are a few new experiments that have been completed. First, there was a series of three television experiments that use hidden images and puzzle pictures. So they put an image here and an image here. So start with this one, man. Do you see the, the hidden image, man? I'll give you a few seconds. <laughs> You know, if, you, if you're hearing this on the audio, don't trip, don't trip. Just, you know, take your time, get the drop, you know, and let me know what you see. <laughs> How about this one, man? You see the hidden image, man? And once you see it, it's impossible to unsee, which is crazy. And it lets you know how the subliminal flow works. But apparently, you know, they did all this and people started seeing it that normally they would have an issue seeing it, but other people started seeing it too. All right, you want to see picture one? All right, I'll give it away. Here we go. Picture one. Ah, did you see this? A couple dancing. Let's go back. <laughs> oh, man. Hold up. Okay. Now, do you see the couple dancing? Huh? How about this? Yeah, I think you see it. I think my knock can see this, man. What is it? Ah, uh, man on the horse, man. A man on the horse, man. So I think we see, man, that, you know, consciousness is such that it's unmeasurable for them. The ether is not measurable, so they can't identify with it. They can't understand it. But you are the valley of dry bones coming back to life. And for some reason, you are the marvel, the wonder, because it's going to connect direct to the tribe. That ain't religious. It's the creator's very tribal. The creator has a people. And if you don't see that clearly, then you're not going to identify with the source field that has a signature or people that come from a signature from a pre-substance called ether. Because the ether field <laughs> for ether is consciousness and it is consciousness that actually goes through these stages to become the different levels of sound, light, matter. And I ask them, what's the matter? <laughs> What's your energy? What's your frequency? How's your zan? How's your shalawan? It's all connected. We seek to desire a why. We seek to desire a why. When we return, we seek, we desire M-H-O-E, our power. And we seek, we desire our priest con, our prester John, King David. One shepherd forever, forever. One shepherd. We desire our kind. 
We desire our land. You know what I'm saying? We desire our redemption, our heritage, and that makes us humble, humbly come trembling to our creator, knowing that with all that greatness, with all that marvel, and it could be taken away just like that. You could fall and slip out of consciousness into a Ruach Tardy Ma just like that. And just like that, again, you could be popping off, singing and dancing a tribe of music with five eyes, Ma. <laughs> and the end of days is just a new beginning. Hey, the water for surfing the wave with a naga digging on this quantum. Continue to flow with us, man. Continue to flow with the entire Ether Squad. Look out for many, many more updates right here at 432 to Drop Radio so you could get the drop with yourself the real and then, man, <laughs> with the host, the host Shabbatai. Shout out Conclave, hey, health, wellness, man. Everyone's dropping. Templar, Urban Reed, we Templaring up. Lego. Hey, out to the Templar, nice spiral. Forbidden script still popping off, man. Look out for the new slot. Natural by law, the naturalist. Yeah, I told y'all, man, it's all happening. We already won. Brother Nature, there we go, man. We living well. This is our network, our community at 432 to drop. And this is where we build for Niagaville. Please continue to support our building efforts. And, um, you know, just... Keep, you know, keep pushing us, man. As as we've pushed you, please keep pushing us and know that we're building our wall, <laughs> our wall of protection. Because after we got our Zon, we got our wall, our outside, we're dividing something from something, right? <laughs> Half, you're cutting it up, right? Because you just got your cut, your matok, your weapon from your breath, your secure breath. But you had to walk through a door and you had to tribe up. You had to gather to walk through that door, whether you're tribing up with your family or you're tribing up with yourself in your house, your temple. It all comes back to the strong power, our leader. Allah, a wise shalom to the cold keepers because all it takes is a few cold keepers. How many cold keepers does it take to pop off the 900th dragon effect <laughs> where it's all happening for a while. Hey, the water to the cons. Allow a